Hi everybody, it's Dan. It's Saturday, and uh, I don't know what the date is, doesn't matter what the date is. It's uh, last Saturday in June, okay? And as many of you know, I've been fighting a corn cutworm battle. Um, this is a corn cutworm. Yeah, nice, huh? All right, this is what they do. You see that? See this? Right there, right there, see that? That's the kind of damage they do. We've lost three corn stalks so far, and uh, it's just a little guy. Still, hey, this thing would have made corn, and I didn't plant it for the corn cutworms to eat. I planted it for us to eat. So here's our solution to the corn cutworm problem that we have. This is called collaring the corn. You can do this with, oh, anything. You can do this with a, uh, beer cans if you want. These are plastic cups, obviously, with cornmeal, which the corn cutworms are said, according to the all-knowing Google, that the corn cutworms will eat the cornmeal, be unable to stop eating the cornmeal, and as I've written to those of you who see me in your Facebook feed, the corn cutworms then blow up, which would be great. I'd love to see some dead cornworms out here. Um, like I said, I've lost three. Any, hey, here's our corn this season. Huh? How about that? Right. This is a green pepper. You can see all the little... Uh, those will eventually be green peppers. And those... And... Those... This is Romanescu broccoli, but obviously something likes to eat the broccoli. Um, this whole row was broccoli, but it's not broccoli now. And this magnificent spread is the tomatoes this year. Isn't that something? Yeah, everybody's really healthy. I've been spraying compost tea around and, uh, well, you know. Back here in the boxes, that I've, here's a cherry tomato plant farthest west and lots of flowers and tiny cherry tomatoes that are starting to come on there. Um, and behind it are, I can't ever remember what all this stuff is. Um, that's salad greens up there, and that's, there are two cantaloupes and two watermelon in there that hopefully will grow up and over this thing here. And we'll bag them from underneath, because, well, if that works out, it'll just be really, really cool to look at. Here's more salad greens and that's butter crunch lettuce there at the bottom and yeah that stuff is butter crunch head lettuce and uh, lettuce of some kind I don't remember and some spinach of some uh, maybe it's New Zealand's but I don't remember. Carrie knows I don't know and then there's more and those were cucumbers and then this is the other cherry tomato plant which hopefully again will grow up and over the trellis and sort of be a an entrance to the trellis be cherry tomatoes because last year I had to trellis them anyway and you know, anybody who's ever planted these things knows. This is like, they turn into a shrub. They're just huge. The corn, collaring this, you know, this work. Um, it got me thinking about, you know, I like organic solutions in the garden. I like to spray with compost tea and have a healthy batch of nematodes in the garden and, um, you know, manage the, the microscopic organisms in the garden that are beneficial to the plants. But think about having to do this Think about the damage that a corn cut work can cause, you know, one of them at a night. And think about having to collar your corn. And think of an organic solution for an entire field of corn, you know? It's easier to understand um, some of the, the pesticides and chemistry that, you know, allow... For, look how big that thing is. Yeah, it's variety, but it's also really happy and really healthy. Most of this stuff is. Well, all the tomatoes are. The tomatoes are... You know, they're my favorite, and people say, oh, do you can? Like, no, we eat. We gorge, and we grunt and make little noises of pleasure standing at the kitchen sink. <laughs> um, these are, uh, I think these are purple Cherokee right there. And, yeah, that's starting to blush, actually. Right there. And the ones in the cages are supposed to... Uh, the fruit's supposed to look nicer than the staked tomatoes. They come on a little slower if you cage them, but the fruit looks more perfect. There's a look from the front. Um, 2013's garden. Last Saturday in January. 
Isn't it beautiful? I love it.